Eight-year-old Chase Smith, diagnosed with level 3 nonverbal autism, has experienced a remarkable transformation since relocating at his new school. Chase coming here and Miss Hall not giving up on him um, has completely it's changed his life. With her unwavering dedication, Miss Hall has nurtured a safe and inclusive environment for Chase, treating him with the same love and encouragement as any other child. He had never gone to school for a full day. Um, he had a hard time at his last school, so we, we had to relocate. You know, when Chase first came, it was not uh, roses. Um, it was rough. When Chase first stepped into her classroom, the road to progress was not easy requiring time, dedication, and a development of a strong teacher-student relationship. He's come so far from where he was initially. It's like a different kid. I remember her saying that uh, she was invested in him and uh, she wasn't giving up on him. And to, to just hear that, to, that she didn't even know us when we first came here and, and to say that she's invested in him it, as a parent it, it means so much. I, I can't even put into words how much it means cancer it's a very scary word but an outstanding treatment facility was here at home i was led to the lawson cancer center as a nurse practitioner at the Lawson Cancer Center, we are champions for our patients. I am so happy for Robert. The treatment worked. Make it through the day, make it through the day. Last year, all Chase wanted for his birthday was to have friends. Through Miss Hall's dedication and guidance, Chase's wish has become a reality. He's made friends here. He's had the opportunity to make friends because he goes to lunch, um, he gets to go out to the playground, um, he gets to be around other kids. The positive changes Chase has experienced at his new school have begun to transcend his educational environment and influence his behavior at home. I always want to make sure that when something happens to me that Chase um, is going to be okay in this hall is giving him the best chance. It makes me feel good like knowing that Bethany appreciates it and that she will take my advice when I give it to her um, to try to help her at home because, you know, if we can bridge that gap between school and home and keep it consistent, it will help him. Chase's story serves as a powerful reminder of the influence educators can have on their students' lives. I know she doesn't think it, she has a hard time seeing it, but she's, uh, he has so much joy now because of her. He doesn't walk into school, he runs into school. I love you, Chase. I love you, Miss Hall. I love teaching. I've got seven years left, so I hope to, like, you know, touch a lot more lives in that seven years. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Ethan Miller.